Utah's largest coal factory is set to get a major facelift in the next four years. Green hydrogen, once dubbed freedom fuel by President George W. Bush, is making a major comeback. The Intermountain Power Project is set to convert its Delta coal plant into a green hydrogen plant to create renewable energy for the region. ABC4's investigator Jason Wynn shows us the changes and what a move like this means for Millard County. About two hours southwest of Salt Lake City, along State Route 174, is the Intermountain Power Project. This plant began producing power for 35 entities across six states in 1986. We're standing on the roof of the existing uh, power plant, uh, which will be closed in 2025. Nearly 400 people work inside the coal plant where turbine generators produce 1,800 megawatts of energy. The new plant will have a smaller footprint. In 2025, the new plant will begin using hydrogen and natural gas to create 840 megawatts of energy with the ability to boost power capacity up to 2,400 megawatts. Using these power lines connecting Utah to Nevada and California, the Intermountain Power Agency will send 100% green hydrogen power from Millard County in 2045. So how are engineers going to pull off the electrifying task? Utah sits on the largest salt dome in the West. Engineers, they're going to drill 3,000 feet underground, creating a salt cavern where they can store hydrogen. The salt dome under the Intermountain Power Project is so large that it has the capacity for storing more energy than all of the installed batteries in the entire world. It's called long duration energy storage. The salt dome will allow engineers to produce and store hydrogen in off seasons, like the spring and fall to burn in the summer and winter when energy use typically goes up. The cost of this project are borne by the people who buy the power. And over the history of this project, greater than 98% of that power has been purchased by California entities. Creating a, an affordable energy future for everyone is critically important. You see, Green Hydrogen Coalition Executive Director Laura Nelson used to work in Governor Gary Herbert's administration. She knows when the Delta coal plant shuts down, some Utahns will be out of work. But she also knows about Utah's ability to export power, and hydrogen can be globally traded. Growth potential is really significant in terms of all of those ancillary services, and these are high-paying technical jobs. Some of those jobs will revolve around chemical manufacturing and the transportation industry where the government is planning on investing big money. Experts say hydrogen can be exported out of Utah using the existing railways. I'm excited about it. North Salt Lake's representative Melissa Ballard says that's where the controversial inland port comes into play. Their mission is to be green and the inland port will be able to have the applications for hydrogen, for zero emissions, and so allow them to be able to encourage zero emission trucks, zero emissions warehouses, and backup generators, and let them be part of planning for a better air quality in our community. If it works, lawmakers have bigger plans for Utah's coal plants. We want to be able to take our existing plants and convert them to clean energy. Using hydrogen is nothing new for many of these companies. What is new is the technology surrounding it. It's becoming dramatically cheaper, allowing Intermountain Power Agency to scale up its launch date in 2025. I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.